Hello everybody and welcome back. This is episode number 19 of the Amber Army YouTube Champions Manager 3 Retro Aston Villa YouTube series and here we go. We're about to kick off a brand new season and we have done some business and I have identified some good players in the areas that I wanted to get them in. If I take you to the transfers. So so this season players eight Newcastle plucked up the sign them three Cody Moore Hughes and Merson um, surplus to requirements and Petr Dubovsky um, we signed him on a free but looking at him I thought he's a bit cack actually and he's um, an FGN which is basically a work permit guy he's not going to play much for us he's not going to be worth any money um, because he'll have no work permit so get rid and we got 3.6 million for him We've done some good business. As you can see, Dubovsky came in and went eight. So we made an instant profit on him. 3.6 million pounds worth of it as well. Daniel Kemp, if you remember, he's the Scottish young striker who may turn out to be a good player for us. Um, these are the players I brought in. I needed to get a backup backup keeper. I managed to pick up Stephen Bywater, only 18. A half decent keeper. Can be a backup keeper for whenever Bosnitz is away on international duty. But the three players, obviously, I said central midfield, Sabri Lamucci. Now, who remembers Sabri Lamucci? Very, very good French central midfielder. Can also play on the right. But as, as you can see, he, he is a fast one. But I'm going to play him as a central midfielder because he's the kind of guy that will pierce the central of their midfield. He's a top, top quality central midfield player and he was at Liverpool last season he didn't play particularly well for them but I think we can get the best out of him if you look the 6.09 it's mainly because he came off the bench a lot I think we'll see some good stuff from Lamucci Mauricio Anibal Riso is uh, Argentine slash Italian so he's an Argentine but because he's also Italian he's not an FGN um, shooting off the ball is tops he's fast he can dribble He's got technique. He's got strength. He is an absolute gem. And I know for a fact he scores goals. And look at that for an average rating. A decent return of 17 goals for uh, Hercules or however the Spanish pronounce it. But that that there is, is a good quality player. And he is ours. And finally, who remembers Hidetoshi Nakata? You can see these, these fees are quite low. Lamucci was transfer listed by request at two and a half mil. Riso, um I'm not sure if Hercules went yeah, I think they got relegated from the top division. So he had a like a release clause which was worth like three point three million. Nakata played for Perugia in um in it Italy. And he also had a two point nine million pound relegation release clause which allowed us to sign him for two point nine million. Now as I promised, three games in this episode, all Premier League games, as you can see, we haven't had the draw for any of the, the League Cup. We don't enter the League Cup till the second round, of course. Um, no FA Cup draw, but we open up our season with Liverpool away, Newcastle home and West Ham away. So three tricky games just to kick things off with. But I've got a good feeling we, we, we could do quite well. But anyway, let's get straight to our first game. Okay, so this is it. Game number one, and there we go. We got our full strength defence is ready to go. The card to take place on the right. Um, Lovenkran's on the left. In the centre midfield is Seth Johnson and Lamucci. We have got a couple of injuries from centre mid. Um, Hendry and Shaw are both out injured at the moment. Riso and Taino. I got a fe feeling about Taino for this season. And of course, Riso. I think they could be a formidable partnership. But time will tell with these two. Obviously, the bench is made up with Ghent, Schimmerger, O'Callaghan, Joachim, and Quayla. Tevenet. I don't know. I got a funny feeling Quayla could be a better option to bring off the bench than Tevenet. Even though Tevenet scored more goals than Quayla, I just got a feeling Quayla, because of his attributes, could be a better choice. But there we go. Get the game underway. Liverpool looking to take this, take the game to us early on. Oh, Taino on the volley, unlucky. Lamucci will be definitely up for this game. 
signed for Liverpool last season. Didn't figure as much as he probably should have. Failure pulling it well wide. Redknapp having a go on the volley as well. I'm not liking this theme of Bosnich taking a goal kick and then them just getting a chance at goal. It's not good. Okay, so some new faces in this team. A couple of them are going to need to uh, bleed themselves into the squad a little. But I've got every faith in this team, although we're not doing overly well so far in this game. Liverpool are bombarding us a bit. I'd like to know what's going on with their defence. That was the one thing that I felt I could count on. I didn't really need to add to the defence. Although I am trying to sign um, another cent uh, not centre-back, a right-back and use Schimmacher as a backup centre-back. So Risso getting tripped. So we're talking about two new forwards who got to learn to play together. I think they could do it as long as the midfield is feeding them well. So, so far it's been a bit of a poor, well not just a bit but a very poor first half for us really in reflection. Liverpool dominate in the play but we need to get ourselves forward a little more Love and needs to get into the game so we're there in and the thing is we're still nil-nil so this can be considered a good result if we can keep things like this but if we're looking to breach that top five which is our target for this season we do need to look to penetrate these bigger teams right so Nakata not having a good start the life at Aston Villa let's see if Joe Chim can make a bit of a difference is it worth looking at a double substitution potentially Taino for Quayla let's see what difference that makes Come on, 10 minutes, well, just over 10 minutes left. Luke will take the lead, unfortunately. I think we've got to make that final sub and hope that we can do something in this game now. It's George O'Callaghan for Lamucci. We lost our first game and that is an extremely disappointing return from our team. It could have been a lot more than just 1-0. Probably should have been a lot more than just 1-0. Well, let's move on to the next game. Let's hope that we can do something different in that one. I don't know how, but somehow we are in the UEFA Cup this year. I didn't think we were going to be in it. How we qualified for it, I have absolutely no idea. But I'm not going to complain. European football guys, got to be happy with that. Okay guys, we're here with our second game of the episode, we're playing Newcastle at home. I've switched things around a little bit at front. I put Riso and Quayle out together and put Tevenet on the bench. I think it's, he's still 19 Tano, I think he needs a little bit more time to get himself ready for the team. Otherwise, unchanged. Newcastle looking happy to defend. Well, they must know what's coming at them then. Ten minutes in, and we're looking okay at the moment. Um, well, we need to start getting some shots on target. Well, there's one. <laughs> there we go. But um, yeah, we're approaching the half hour mark, and 
Oh, we're going to have some of our old players playing against us, yeah? Obviously, Merson's playing against us. Can't love and Kranz. Oh, I thought Rousseau was going to score then. Usually, when you see him in that kind of position, he's uh, he usually comes good for a goal. As you can as you can probably tell, I have bought Rousseau on previous views, on previous saves on this game before, and he is a good striker once he gets going, of course. Oh, Quila. So we're quite convincingly the better team so far. And the Carter getting in to try and score a goal. He needs to get in, in, in with a revival. He had a poor debut. Playing out only a 5 rating. He's doing a 6. We're doing a little bit better this time. But as you can see, we're in the driving seat, but it doesn't mean that we're going to win this one. Got to make sure we put our chances away. Oof, Bosnitz doing well then to stop Shearer. Oh no. It had to be, didn't it? You just knew that was going to happen. Paul Merson. Gutted. We were very much in control of this game until the start of the second half. And now it's swung in their favour, shall we say. And they got the goal. We need to change things up somewhat. Quayla is going to have to come off for Tevenet. Other than that, everyone's looking okay. On. Someone get a goal. Lamucci's in on it trying to get a goal. Okay, and a cat there to come off for George him. Oh, Callahan's got to Oh, no, fuck you. Not what we wanted at all. I'll tell you what, actually, watch this. See what difference that makes. Probably none. We were looking like again losing, losing our opening two games of the season. <laughs> this is going to be a dreadful, dreadful episode if we don't get a win in the next one. We're away to West Ham, I believe. I'll double check that, but I'm quite sure we are. I'll see you there. Cup draw, guys. Ready for cup first round? We're playing against Rapid Vienna, and we are going to play in the first leg at home. Final game in against West Ham. Risso is out for this game. He was only on like 50-something fitness. So Tevenet and Quayla take the field with Taino on the bench. Otherwise, unchanged. Um, hoping for a bit more from this midfield. Or we're going to gonna have to look at changing some things up. Let's see how we get on this game first though. I'd say it may just take some time for our new midfielders to get used to how we play. Or get used to working with the strikers. But Lovenkranz just haven't, hasn't got involved enough yet. He's our star man. On oh, there we go. That'll do. A link up between Nakata and Lumucci to give us the lead in a, in this third game. Looks like we're starting things in a similar way. This is hope I don't speak too soon and West Ham go and equalise. No, they're not. But it'd be nice if we can get the win in this one. I say we started off against two good teams though. Tevenet, get in there, son. Should never have dated you. But then, when you got someone like Risso, it's difficult to keep him off off the field, really. But, like I say, he's not fit enough to, uh, to start this game. Not even fit enough for the bench. Here's Lovenkrenz. 
Doing the free kick. Oh, which we score from Quayla. Now we're talking. Both of them getting their opportunity, and this is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What an absolutely fantastic start to the game. We've got Nakata right on the right doing better. We've got Lamucci in the centre doing better. This is more like it. But really, I mean, they've had an equal amount of chances to us. Their keeper must be playing, well, a four. <laughs> it's not like Shaka Hislop to be doing that, though. early goal at the start of the second half it's not what we wanted giving them a bit of hope now and they were excellent defence has conceded again another game without a clean sheet let's hope that we don't let them get another one now because our second half against Newcastle was poor after a, after a, a good looking first half could do with that three goal cushion again to be honest because if they do score again it's going to be a twitchy bum time then gets the miss of the target thank god for that eh So we're pushing forward and making chances, we're just not go on. Yes! There it is. Seth Johnson's first goal for West Ham. He's coming more into his own now, his old Seth. Let's make some subs. I think that's summed the game up for us. We'll take off Quayla for Tino. Well, Take off Nakata for Joe at Jim. May as well go full on and make all the subs. Seth Johnson's on a yellow. Let's bring on O'Callaghan. We've won the game. If 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 we do get an injury, then that's just you know they're not going to score three or four goals and take this away from us. Tano looking to get in on the scoring there. As the clock ticks down, it's looking like we're going to come away with a 4-1 win. So, ending the episode very much on a high there, guys. Gotta like that. But, like I say, we lost our first two again, but we're in a plus-one goal difference. Um, plenty of potential in the team, plenty of goals in the team. The defence is still there, but obviously they, they, they haven't kept the clean sheet yet. But when they do, I'd imagine there'll be a lot more to follow on. So, many reasons to feel happy about this guys uh, happy with the start really um, those two losses were unfortunate but they were against Liverpool and Newcastle so that's just how it goes when you play against those big teams like that but we certainly proved ourselves against West Ham there so looking forward to the next episode what we got coming up in the next one anyway we've got the start of the UEFA Cup and we've got a trip to Charlton and a home game against Chelsea so an interesting one to come guys looking forward to having you back on the next one thanks all for keeping up with the series hope you're all still enjoying it season number two is now underway so until the next time it's cheerio for now thank you very much